Good morning, good morning. How's everyone doing? Great to be back here today. I've missed you guys the last two days. Been rehabbing my thigh and I just wanted to make sure I'm good to go before I started really working out hard again. Um, but today we're gonna work on arms. We're gonna get after those arm muscles. What's up, Fern? Get rid of that flag hanging down below. Build up some biceps, some shoulder strength. Um, things like that. So get your bands out and um, or if you don't have a band, that's okay. You can use a water bottle or really nothing. So it just depends on where you're at and your fitness level. You do not have to use anything to do this, but we're going to use bands on this workout today. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to see you guys all here. Yeehaw. Here we go. Let's get warmed up. Okay. Oh yes. Look at my bruise. It's it's like a heart. It looks like a heart. So I have to say, it's a heart. <laughs> it's doing much better. And it's a good thing I'm tan because you really can't see how gnarly it really is. So the first thing we're going to do is get warmed up. Arms out to the sides, y'all. Here we go. And we're going to be touching our toes. So feet are straight ahead. Pull that core up. Elongate the torso. Arms are out to the side at shoulder level, and we're reaching, pressing back with our rear end and reaching to the outside of the foot or leg. You don't have to go all the way down. I want a flat back. You should really be feeling your glutes engage on this one, okay? Really press back and feel the glutes moving, okay? You wanna make sure that most of the weight is in your heels, you want full pad down on the floor with your feet. You! I haven't worked out in a couple days. I'm a little bit tired already just from the warm up. Last two. And one. Okay, we're going to do some torso twists. So bring your foot in just a little bit, shoulder width apart, hands up on top of your shoulders. Your elbows can be lower or they can be higher. This is a Tai Chi move. This is my auntie. She gives me this one. And pull the torso up. Hips are facing forward. Chin is facing forward. And you're twisting. Never take your eyes off the wall in front of you. Shoulder blades should be totally engaged. Hips do not move. This is an upper body movement. Seven. And nine. And 10. Let's do two more. Last one. Okay, let's get into some squats. Okay, so feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. We're going to do a squat reach to the sides. We're going to warm up those obliques and center core. Squat reach, really reach. You're going to open up that entire oblique region. You should feel this in your shoulder blades as well. <sighs> Sit back into that squat. You don't have to go all the way down, but your body position needs to be spot on so you don't injure your knees. Seven, nine, and we're going to start to do a squat, open palm twist, we're going to look to the back, so open palm twist, look to the back, squeeze the glutes, and back down. Keep going. Nice posture. You're in that athletic position as if something was coming at you, you could get out of the way really fast. Head turns. So we're gonna be using bands today and some weights. So for those of you with shoulder injuries, I just want you to be mindful of what you're doing, where your posture is, and where you're lifting from. Last two, shake it out. Okay, ready? Let's do some step jacks or jumping jacks. 
So modification for those of you that can't jump, and there's a lot of us that can't jump. Anyone with knee injuries should not really be jumping laterally. Arthritis, same thing, should not be jumping. Can create little bones, uh, bone spurs, so definitely be mindful of that. You'll get the same workout from doing a step jack for sure. Or you're jumping. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, pull the core in, three, two, one. Whoo, shake that out. Let's warm up our arms because we're gonna be doing some arm work today. Arms out to the side, we're gonna pump. Squeeze the shoulder blades, squeeze the shoulder blades. Whew. Nice deep breath. Keep pumping. We're gonna switch to the front in three, two, pull the core up, front, pump. Get that chest involved. This is a pec move. If your shoulders are hurting, you're not using your pecs on this. Whew. Remember, shoulder injuries, you can do this move down low. Whew. You're still pumping and using your pecs, okay? That's what's doing the work here. Focus that energy. Whew. We're gonna go behind in three, two, one. Back behind, pump, pump, press, squeeze the triceps, squeeze the biceps, core is elongated, shoulders are relaxed, they're not up in your ears. Two, one. Whew, shake it out. Okay, let's get into that tricep extension. So I'm gonna use a long band. I'm gonna wrap this band around my hand you can also use a short band to do this, but you're not going to have as much range of motion. So your hand would be on your hip, the opposing arm. You're going to have this, whoop, let me get this in the right spot. So I'm holding on with my thumb, okay? And we're pressing back and forward. And back, squeeze the arm forward. You're not locking up the elbow. Keep that arm going directly behind you. I see people do this move wrong so many times. It's a nice, fluid, slow move. Elbows not flapping out to the side. You are holding your hip with the other band, with the other hand, sorry. Seven, eight, head is forward, nine, 10, Really squeeze. Last one, best one. And switch sides. Thumb, hand on the hip, okay? Up, squeeze. Press up, squeeze. Keep that arm right along your side. Do not let it flail out. Do not lock the elbow up. Try to keep as much tension on the band as you can at all times. Six, chin is up, core is fully engaged. Eight, nine, two more guys. Nice deep breath in and out. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is a bicep curl. You're gonna put your hands, let me move this band out of the way. You can use this band again. Let me show you with the band I was gonna show you here. So wrap your hand around this long band. You would stand on it so you have tension, right? Up and back. Up and back, okay? so. It's another type of band to use. I use that band all the time for many different exercises. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do some bicep curls. Hands are in your band. Elbows are pinned to your sides. Athletic stance, torso is elongated. Chin up, chest up, shoulders back. 
You're starting down low, pressure between the hands and squeezing up. Pressure, arms never fully straighten out at the bottom. Really press out with the top of your hand on that band. You are gonna really feel this if you're doing this properly. Squeeze those elbows to your sides. Don't let them splay out. Make sure your core is fully engaged. Pressure between the thighs. Fire that inner thigh at the same time. Phew! 10, two more. And two. Holy crow. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is a bent over row. I'm gonna use my ball for this. I want a little bit different movement with this one. I'm gonna show you with the band first, what this looks like. Bent over row, hands again, same position. This is as if you're doing a deadlift, okay? And you're just pressing up and down, up and down. Pressure between those hands, pushing that band outside, chin up, flat back, thrust to the chest. Woo, your triceps should be burning right about now, biceps should be burning. These are all great for people with shoulder injuries too. Two more. One, two. I'm gonna show you here with the ball, what that looks like, same thing. Press up and slowly down. Up and slowly down. Up and slowly down. Okay, our next exercise, spider curls. So, I want a little elevation on your feet to do this move. You do not have to have the elevation. It just makes a little bit more resistance, not only for your arms, but for your legs as well. So with this one, whew, whew, I'm gonna twist this sucker up because I really want, I'm putting my thumbs in here, okay? I want my hands together. Uh, as much as possible. Hold on, let's see here. We can do this a little bit better. Let's do one hand. We're gonna do both our hands a crisscross in here, and you're gonna have tension on both of these, okay? You can do a couple crisscrosses to make it even more, more tension in there. It's up to you. So we're gonna press back into a squat. Toes are at a 45 degree angle. You're gonna go down to the ground, okay? And chin is up, chest is up, shoulders are back, and you're pressing down and up. Three. Weights in the heels and the glutes. Chin up, guys. Six. Seven. Squeeze, pull on that band. Nine, ten, two more. One, and last one, two. Stand up, shake it out. Okay, we're gonna do a shoulder press. I'm gonna use some one pound weights. You don't have to use anything for this. So we're gonna be in a sumo squat. You can use water bottles if you want for this. I have these little one pound weights. So it's two pounds in my hands. You're gonna be in a sumo squat all the way out. Press down, elbows are at shoulder, and you're pressing up and down. Up, squeeze the shoulder blades. Hold that pose. Pull that core straight up. Elongate the torso. Seven. Keep going. Nine. Two more. Two. 
Shake that out. Okay, guys. That's your arm workout for the day. Let's get after those arms. Get those nice, long, lean arm muscles. Another great way to get long, lean arm muscles is to swim. Swimming is awesome for those arm muscles. So get after it. Great to see you guys here. Hey, Ellen, what's going on? Great to see you guys all here. I'll be talking to you soon.